Okay, so in this tutorial, we will see how we can import crypto market data into Excel without writing any code. There are many ways you can import data, but in this particular one, we are going to import the data from web and we are going to use Power Query to clean up the data before we import into Excel. So to get started, uh, we are going to need a website where we can uh, view cryptocurrency data. For this example, we are going to use TradingView and I am going to include this link in the description. As you can see, they've got a table that lists the name of all the cryptocurrencies along with the latest price for these uh, cryptocurrencies. So we are going to go ahead and um, import this information. So one, one thing that we are going to need for uh, this to work is the URL. So I'm just going to copy this URL, uh, move this one to the side. So let's go ahead and go to uh, data and then go to from web because that's where we will be importing data from and uh, you will see a dialog box pop up. In here, basic is fine. We don't need to uh, adjust any of the advanced uh, uh, web parts. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on, type in the paste the URL, click OK. Now I will tell you that this process is a little bit slow. It can take some time. Okay, so after about a minute or so, you are going to see uh, these two options pop up. From these two options, I'm going to select table zero because that is what we're going to import. Now, you can just go ahead and load this data right into your session, but we're going to do one extra step. We're going to clean up this data before we import it into Excel. So I am going to click on transform data and this is going to pop up the Power Query editor. Um, so let me just go ahead and move this window into our recording session. OK, so the first column is empty. We've got um, other information such as the name of the currency. We've got the market cap. We've got um, the, uh, the fully diluted market cap right here. And then also the, the, the price of the, uh, of the Bitcoin or of these cryptocurrencies. Now, this is the column that I'm really interested in. I really don't care about these extra ones. Uh, for your analysis, you may need to retain all these columns and that's totally fine. But one thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and click all these columns, which I do not need, and I'm gonna click on remove columns. So let's just clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna remove column one. It's only taking up space. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to also remove this column right here, which is the diluted uh, market cap. So I'm just going to keep market cap and the price of the, uh, the cryptocurrency. So now that this is um, all kind of cleaned up a little bit, let's go ahead and rename some of these columns. I'm just going to call them coin name. So that's that. Um, this is the market cap. I'm going to rename this to market cap. And the last one is the price of the cryptocurrency. So I'm just going to call this last price. OK, so now that this is done, um, I know that this number is going to be this is a dollar value. So I can just go to um, change the data type for this field. And I'm just going to change that to currency. So um, and, and you can see that all the um, all the steps that you perform here, they're kind of recorded as additional steps here. But the good part is that you only have to do this once. Um, next time, all you'll have to do is just refresh your data and it will remember all these steps. Um, so now that this is done, let's go ahead and click on close and load. Okay, so after waiting about a minute, you are going to see all these values populate into your Excel session. Now, uh, two things to note. Number one, you're not in sheet one anymore. Um, Excel created a uh, table zero because that's the one that we selected for our Power Query. And um, uh, you'll also see the queries um, right up here over to the right hand side. Now, anytime, so you can, you can just go ahead and save this uh, Excel session. Okay, so one thing to note is that if you need to refresh the data, all you have to do is just click on this refresh button and I'm in table design. You can just go ahead and click on refresh and it will refresh this data. It will take about a minute to refresh, but you will get the latest of the crypto price in your session. So that's it for this tutorial. I am going to make a few more tutorials um, on how to import cryptocurrency data into Excel um, using Python, using um, uh, Power Automate, um, but those are going to be some, some other ways you can import data. But if you want to import data without writing any code, uh, this may not be the fastest way to import data, but it's definitely one of the most easiest ways to import data and um, also refresh the data.